everyone, it's Lady Mina and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before we begin, I have a rather serious announcement to make. If you are a member of the main Discord for Revenge of the Queen, then you have already seen this announcement as Godfather posted it last night. You see, we became aware that there is a person um, posing as a quote-unquote retired moderator of the Revenge of the Queen Discord. So I want to make it clear that currently there are four um, Discord moderators. That is myself, Discord handle Yasam Naiboya, uh, Godfather, Discord handle um, Godfather Lucifer, Godfather underscore Lucifer. That is also, we also have Anna, Discord handle Anna, Anna Banana. And then Curran Carden Discord handle Boo Momo. There were also two former moderators, that is Sierra and Jaded Rose, who no longer play the game and so no longer moderate the Discord. Um, please be aware that not all you see online is as it appears. There are catfish out there. There are people pretending to be somebody else, and there are people who like to lie online. It sounds so obvious when you say it, and yet we are all prone to forgetting that people do not always present themselves honestly. So I would just like everybody to be aware and careful when we are online to protect ourselves and others around us. If you are contacted by anybody pretending to be a moderator, please contact us, the actual moderators, from the main page of the main Discord. We are listed under members, um, so you can find us there if you search our names up. You can also find us under the server guide if you scroll down to server info. We are listed as the moderators um, there as well. So please be careful. Please be safe. The internet is not as it appears. Now, on to the event. We have this week one VIP event. Uh, two, if you count Mung Mung, who is still there from last week. So we're going to go ahead and cover Butterfly uh, Transform. She is the VIP suit this week. She's $50. You may notice that I did not even attempt to copy her. That is because there is no other suit quite like her. She's stunning. Now, I will say she is actually quite like some uh, Love Nikki suits. This is, once again, a sort of combination dupe of a couple of different Love Nikki suits. I can't find the one I'm thinking of. I think there is like a butterfly eye patch of Nikki suit. Unless I've lost my mind, I swear there was one at one point. So if you spot that one, hit me up on the Discord. I would love to see it. But I do have a couple of suits uh, up on the screen here of things that I think she reminds me of from Love Nikki. Now, I want to look into her pieces before we get started on her tags and her story because these yellow bits here are actually a separate wing piece. So she does come with wings, so not only is she butterfly themed, she is herself an actual butterfly. I think she's stunning. Her black and white wig is just gorgeous. We don't have any wigs that flare out like that. That's really very common in Love Nikki, but not so common for us. Um, so I'm I'm just in love with that aspect of her. Um, her background piece is also quite pretty, but I really, truly adore this butterfly dress and the eye patch and the crown is gorgeous. So I will be getting her. Wait for me, baby girl. Payday's coming. Um, so let's go ahead and cover her tags. She is Western at 12K, Mysterious at 6K, Fairy at 4K, Elegant, Wild, and Romantic at 2K. Let's go ahead and cover her poem. Dead leaves and butterflies are like twins. As brilliant as gems, they're masterpieces of the natural world. No one can really monopolize this heaven-sent beauty. 
as in part in eternity, can never be deemed everlasting. The scars from yesterday have been etched in time's annals. Despite all frailty, desire for the vast sky overrides fright. The framed little butterfly has long yearned for freedom. By all its determination, it will finally soar into the clouds. Really pretty poem. Um, this dead leaves and butterflies are like twins may sound strange to you if you have not heard of the dead leaf butterfly. I'll post a picture of it up on the Discord. It does look like a dead leaf. Um, and it's absolutely stunning in its camouflage. It's really, really pretty and really just a fascinating work of nature. So we're gonna head back over and we're gonna discuss, um, well, we have some very big things to discuss. We have a new Yang servant. So if we head over to Pet Lover, we can see his event here. Um, there's also Spirit Fruit Tree, so if you're interested in that, the link will be available to you, as well as Fashion Contest. So the new server, I I want to say, is pronounced Chin Chong, but I might be wrong about that. Uh, so he has a number of skills, and he is fairly comparable to Mulan, and I will have that up on the screen once we get to discussing his skills. This is his servant pool. He has a slightly higher chance of being dropped from in here than he does anywhere else. So you can see here, the majority of Yang servants have a 0.0008 or 7% drop rate, which is very, very small. And he has a 0.4% drop rate, which comparatively is quite high. Um, and is higher than all of the other elites at the moment on this screen. So he does have the highest chance of the elites, but he does not have the highest chance in total. You see you have a whole 21% chance of getting these two. So let's take a look at the rest of this. If you are new to Revenge of the Queen, then you probably have not encountered a, um, servant pool before so you can see that you can do pulls for gold it's quite expensive yes but it is worth it because there is um uh, completion prizes let's call them for every 10 25 40 x number of pulls you receive either more pulls this is free pulls it does not have a chance it the the chin chong paper does not give you a higher chance of pulling him but it is a free pull so you get free pulls and you also get this this is his debris so after 20 50 50 so after 200 pulls you are guaranteed a second copy of him you are guaranteed the first copy from integrity defender that is his award event that goes along with it you will be guaranteed a copy of him so long as you play every day and you complete the tasks here so that's pretty easy um, no worries about that. So you're guaranteed one copy of him. Everybody who plays the game regularly is guaranteed one copy of him. This is important if you are building him. You should go into your guild and you should discuss with your guildmates about trading for him if you are building him. So that goes, that means going to the tea house, getting tea papers, um, tea house tickets, and then trading for him. There is, uh, in my guild, uh, let's see how many people I have, members. So in my guild currently, we have 53 members. If everybody was playing actively, if everybody would, if I was the only person building him, and who knows, I might be, um, that would be 50 copies of him that I could potentially get, 52 copies. Uh, how likely is that? Pretty unlikely. However, you can get quite a lot of copies from your guildies. So talk to your guildmates if you're building him, get those free copies. Um, because he's quite expensive to get during his event, it's far better to farm copies from him and to wait until you get him in the elite pool where you can purchase him directly from in here. When is that going to happen? Probably three months from now when we get the next servant. So it's going to be a while before he pops in here, but that means that's a long time for you to save these ginkgo leaves to buy him. You get one ginkgo leaf for every elite ticket that you pull. Um, you get... Uh, 
three to ten elite tickets a week if you are farming them. There is an elite ticket farming guide somewhere in the main discord. I will have to go track it down and post it into the game tips guide if it isn't already, but you can get him from in there and that is much cheaper than getting him during his event because his event is very high cost very low reward so if you're not gonna do the i would go i'm planning to build him so i'm actually gonna try to get the 200 pulls and what with my vip level i should be able to do it pretty easily his event lasts 20 days if you are a free to play player you can even get to 200 because you get about 1200 gold just from completing your daily prizes and then you can get even more gold if you farm heavily in the errand shop recommended to farm heavily in there anyway and the way to get the most errand tickets for the least amount of money is to get a bestie and buy them from the bestie shop. If your errand shop is level 6, then you have a chance of getting um, 600 gold as a prize. It also increases your chances of getting the 300 gold uh, errand as well as the 120 gold errand. You can see here I farmed up 3 of them. Over the last week I've probably farmed 4,000 gold just from within here. That might be lowballing it to be honest. We can see how much gold I've got if I go into event, seven day task. One of these, oh, I gotta go back. One of these has spending gold as its task. Consume gold, yep. So that is an active counter of how much gold you have spent in the last uh, eight days. So I've spent 26,000 gold. That means I farmed quite a lot of it. I get a lot of it as a VIP player anyway, but I also farm gold heavily. So that means over seven days, I at my VIP level have more than enough gold to purchase um, 200 pulls in just seven days for his event. But I am, I don't have seven days. I have 19 days. So that makes it a lot easier to spend that gold. Um, you also will receive 20 free pulls as you get one free a day. So that means you only need to buy 80 pulls with gold. Um, 80 times, that's a 100 and, uh, 16,000 gold you need to spend in order to get him. Actually, it's even less than that because you do get free pulls. So about 12 extra free pulls. So 20 plus 12, so 22 free tickets from within there. Um, I do we get any from Integrity Defender? No. You can also purchase more of the, um, so if you go into more award for $20, you get one more copy of him, which is kind of jank. I feel like if I'm spending $20, I should get more than one extra copy of him, but you do also get a bunch of more, bunch more free pulls as well as elite tickets and um, yank fodder. Is it worth it though? I personally don't think so. Even though I am building this servant, I am not going to purchase that because I just don't think it's worth the money. Um, so what, what math were we at? You really only need to purchase about 70. Let's go with 70, make the number easy. So 100 and so 14,000 gold over 20 days. You should be able to do that just fine as you get about 7,000 gold a week just from playing the game, even as a free to play player. So hitting that 200 is really not difficult. Um, so once you do hit that 200 pulls, you will get your extra copy of him, which brings you up to two guaranteed copies of him, as well as any you can farm from your guildmates and from your um, from your elite papers later on. Should you farm him though? Well, let's take a look at him compared to Mulan. They are just about equal in the individual category. Um, as a team though, you might get different results. So let me pull up Mulan first because we have her in the elite pool and we'll take a look at her skills. That's not Mulan. This one's Mulan. So she has one active skill and three passive skills. 
she has four skills all servants have four skills she has one active skill and three passive skills her active skill is that she attacks one opponent on the other side on the other team she ignores 30 percent of their defense and she attacks with 230 percent of her attack damage and regains hit points equal to 40% of her attack, so with every attack, she heals a little bit of herself. And if that opponent has damage, um, has the sense debuff, then they take an extra 25% damage. That debuff is not one that she puts on her enemies, but one that other Yang servants put on their enemies. Her second skill is called Passive 2. She has a 60% probability of causing extra damage equal to 80% of her attack. So she's a damage stacker. The total attack of her, the total amount of damage should not exceed attack points times six. So that's actually still quite a lot of damage um, that she can deal, but it is only to one opponent and she does heal herself. So those are her two main skills. These are her passive skills, they're a little less important. This passive skill, passive 3, when she is under attack she has a 100% probability of using a counter common attack to fight back. That will be uh, damage plus 20%. So she does also hit back every time she gets hit. In contrast to her, we're gonna call him QQ because I'm not sure about how to pronounce his name. Um, QQ is made to fight against Pan An. Pan An does a lot of debuffs on the enemy team. QQ goes ahead and dispels all debuffs on himself every four rounds. So when he starts playing, he does it on the first round. Um, he dispels all the debuffs on himself and, um, and obtains immune control, which increases his crit rate and his crit damage. So it is both a removal of all debuffs and a buff to himself every four rounds. Let's go ahead and pull him up so I can show you which attack that actually is. If we come over to his Pet Lover from Suppression, you have to hit this question mark to find that. So that was his skill called Arrival. His second skill, Mace Dance, is the one, his attack skill. So he has two active skills and two passive skills. So his first active skill is to remove all debuffs on himself and give himself some buffs. And his second um, active skill is to attack one person at the front of the next team. When that person is dead, he will attack the next person in front. He causes damage to one servant five times. He, each, each attack is 60% of his attack power. Uh, oh, is his attack power plus 60% and then he ignores 35% of the target's defense. So he has a higher, um, uh, so he attack, he causes more damage than uh, Mulan. And after he attacks, he also improves his own immunity to, to enemy debuffs. Uh, door guard is his second passive skill we can ignore that when qq is attacked he also increases his attack times 10 percent at most 10 times no dispel so that means whatever his attack is he multiplies it up to a hundred percent um after 10 times being attacked the more he is hurt the stronger he gets so that makes him a great servant. I think ultimately he will do more damage per capita than Mulan, um, but he does not have her healing ability, which means if you have a weak healer on your team, he's going to struggle. You will have to give him healing jades to buff him. Also, if you give him uh, attack jades, he's going to be a real killer. The only thing is, he only attacks one person and he only debuffs himself. So he probably shouldn't be your main warrior. You're still going to want somebody who can attack multiple enemies who has an AoE. Um, a warrior or a strategist with an AoE is going to do you a lot of good. But QQ is a fantastic uh, support warrior. Let's call him that. So to go back over this screen so that new players know what's going on with it. Uh, this uh, magnifying glass takes you to his skills. This plays out his skills for you so you can see what he really does. You can see he attacks um, them, then he buffs himself, that would be a rival, then he attacks again, 
uh, then he buffs himself. Uh, so that's his, that's his routine. If we come into records, you can see the pulls that you've had previously. So I've only done, that. the event's only been around two days and I've only done two pulls. If we go into details, you can see the odds of pulling him. If you go into replace, replace is the, uh, what do they call it over here? It's in here, replace. Replace is both of these. So this replace costs gold. So if I wanted to, he's not even available to replace, but if you were in here, I could see how many copies of him I needed um, and how much gold it would cost me. So it's 3,000 gold to replace Zhang Zhao here. But if I go into, my God, why am I struggling so much to actually figure out which one of these I need to click. If I go in here and I go into this replace and I wanna replace him, it's free. So if you manage to get four copies of him, uh, during his event, you can replace him, or however many copies, then you can replace him for free instead of spending all that gold, and it does help a lot uh, when you are a higher level player. I would ideally, ooh, I need both of these guys, so actually I wouldn't be using either of them, but I would use this as a cheaper method of getting a higher level copy of him. What replace does is it gives you, um, if I level up John Zhao and I take him up to say, um, level 260 and I give him all kinds of armors and jades and I evolve him up to that level those f and I um, put him into the transform then I will get a QQ at the same level as him this saves me on evolution resources it to get him up to four stars I needed to get so many copies of him I needed to get so many fodders of him and I needed to get so many fate stones or divine stones of him using the transform function I don't have to farm any of those things all I have to farm is copies of QQ then I can just do a direct one-to-one -one swap at my level once you get up to 11 million frankly this is useful once you get up to 10 million because at that point you hit um, a real real grind to get all of that evolution especially for yin yangs so um, that's what you're gonna want to do once you get to a higher level is you're gonna want to replace uh, your servant so that's replace the gift bag is the daily pulls you can also purchase um, copies of him in here not copies you can't purchase copies but you can purchase pulls is it worth doing I don't know uh, personally, I'm gonna grind him for free uh, from my guildmates. I don't see, because your chances of pulling him are so low, I would not spend on this. Um, just get your 200 free pulls and then and then grind him from your guildies. It just That's just gonna be the plan here. Trial is a fantastic tool. What this does is allows you to replace one person in your team with um, QQ so you can see how he would perform. So it is telling me to replace Lan Ling with him. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. For my buffs, I would want to replace Baldi, but he's my healer, so that's not gonna show what he would really do in a team. We'll replace one of my other warriors with him instead. So let's go ahead and replace Lan Ling. It didn't work. Challenge. Okay. We're gonna challenge my current story mission and we're gonna see how well he does in a team. Uh, so you can see Baldi's doing all of his buffs and then he's buffing himself again. And then we have Liu Bai attack, Kai Wen Ji attack, Shang Yu attack. I'm not gonna pass this level. This is quite a difficult one. Yep, so he just attacks one person at the front repeatedly. I think for my team, my current team, he isn't super great just because he only attacks one person at a time. And I prefer an AOE servant, but he's not. He's gonna get killed immediately, isn't he? Maybe I shouldn't build him. It's hard to say how he would be stunned. It's hard to say how he would perform in a yin-yang team, as I don't have a yin-yang team. 
but he doesn't seem to be very useful in my current team. He did survive the longest though, so that's something. Hmm. Hard to say now whether I want him or not. I think I'll build him anyway, because worst case scenario, I just use, I build him up and then I use transform on a new Yang servant who will drop eventually. So that is uh, QQ, Jin Chong. So let's go ahead and cover um, Pet Lover and then we'll do good luck call. We have quite a lot going on this week. So Pet Lover is super simple super easy she is a um she's a rare suit so she's not very strong so we don't need to worry about her tags if you are um collecting all of the suits then collect her too she's cute if you're saving your gold and not collecting rare suits then you can skip her uh her tags are chili at 4k indifferent at 2k fairy at 1600 and then innocent mysterious and sexy at 800 let's go ahead and cover her story her tagline says in a dream i became a butterfly flying through overgrown lotus once lively spring is now quiet and still with light makeup she dances along with the night breeze what a surprise traces of spring color come into sight the shiny moon, the tall trees, the luminous pearl. All tonight are as spotless and innocent as Lotus is. Like a limpid dream beyond any flowery words. I, I don't know if limpid was the right word for that one. That doesn't have the meaning that I would associate with any kind of dream. Uh, I think she's very pretty and I love her dress. I love when the rare suits are as detailed or more detailed than event suits and her background piece is really beautiful. Um, if you are saving up for Good Luck Call, don't worry too much. Good Luck Call comes back every three or four months. Um, and I have a Excel sheet. I have an Excel sheet, a Google Doc that contains all of the tags as well as a cheat sheet for, um, for Good Luck Call. So open that up when we get to that point if you want to know which suits to buy. Um, there is 50 suits this week now in Good Luck Call, so we will not be covering all of them. I don't have the energy and we don't have the time, but that sheet does contain um, which suits are strongest and which suits are worth purchasing. This suit, I think, will cost about 2,500 gold to get completely. It is one gold for one currency and in the exchange shop she costs 5,000 currencies. However, we have an updating task list so I can't say for sure how many, um, how many currencies we get for free, but I'm gonna guess since she's a rare suit she will cost the average cost of a rare suit between two and 3,000 gold. So um, go ahead and collect all of your tasks and play through. This auto feed button will feed the pets in your friends' houses for you if but you have to do the first hundred yourself so let's go ahead and visit some friends and we'll show you the two different kinds of pets that have spawned i love this event i think it's super cute and i love an excuse to visit all my besties so go ahead and start with eve and i will tap here to visit her house and then i'm going to hit hit, hit here to feed bones this is a uh feed bones to drive the timid monster that actually is um a holdover from the first time this event dropped, which actually was popping fireworks to frighten monsters away. It dropped it on Halloween, um, I think, of the first year the game existed. And it was super fun then. And they do drop it most Halloweens as well. Um, so it is 10 bones. You get 10 currency every time you feed a dog. You get 50 currency every time you feed a cat. The dogs disappear after you have fed them once, but the cats stick around. So let's go ahead and hit no more reminders. And we will just feed this cat all of these um, cat treats that I have. Much like my real cats in real life. Oh, there's also the possibility that you feed one and it disappears. So you actually lose some, you lose some uh, food there. So I think I've hit 100. I'm going to hit auto feed, begin. And now my currency is up to, uh, I have 730 currency. And for feeding pets, you get more food. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy, this one. So that is this event. Um, it's around for a week. 
and this is her shop so nothing special there it's just the pet lover event let's go ahead and cover good luck call i think i should have enough um gold to finally finish this suit this was one of the suits that dropped with the messed up shop that only gives you a thousand currency a day for a suit that costs five thousand so if you don't empty the shop every day you run the risk of not getting the suit well guess who miscalculated one christmas last year that's right it was me so i'm finally finally going to complete this suit and I have a personal vendetta with it because I didn't get all of the pieces and I am a completionist. So how does good luck call work? You have here on the bottom right a counter for your vouchers. You have these eight uh, red packets as well as the current discount counter. So you see I have zero discount. If I go into change costume, I can't change costume. We'll have to flip over to my other account to show you all the costumes available this week because I I've got every suit except for this one on my main account because I've been playing for so long and I never skip an event. If we go into the store, you can see the shop. We'll cover that in just a moment. First, we're going to go ahead and um, do some flips. So there is, if we go into this question mark, I think it is. Yeah, this in orange letters, you can claim a specific outfit for free. If you somehow manage to flip all eight cards, you get that outfit for free. The chances of flipping all eight cards is 5%. 100% chance of getting a 10% discount, and then you have a 5% chance of getting a 100% discount. What that actually means though, is for the first flip you have a 0% chance of getting a bomb and for the 8th flip you have a 95% chance of getting a bomb. So you can flip these numbers around so for 70, for your 4th card you have a 30% chance of pulling a bomb. For your 7th card you have an 80% chance of pulling a bomb. If you get a bomb you have to start over um, on your discount. Typically I think I average like a 30-35% discount. I'm never lucky enough to get to the last one. I've never managed to get a free suit. You can see I've only bought five vouchers um, and I actually bought them for real money because I, because covering what's in the shop right now, um, I did the math and for me, I'm only buying one suit. For me, it works out to just buy the packs with real money over spending gold because I don't want to spend too much gold on this. I want to spend gold on QQ. So what I'm going to do, what I did was I bought the dollar pack and for one dollar you get five flips. So 20 cents a flip. Um, five flips with each flip being 50 gold would be um, 250 gold. So for me, for the low discount that I want and the only two the two pieces I want to buy from this suit, it works out just to spend a dollar and get whatever discount I get after five flips and do it that way. If you're buying a lot of suits, I don't know. I don't want to advocate anybody spend money on this, like real money, but if you're only buying a few flips and you're trying to save gold for something else, you might want to look at this math and, you know, decide on your own whether or not it's worth it to spend some money to buy the flips. Um, so for pack D, the 99 cent pack, it comes out to 20 cents a flip. Pack C is 33 cents. Pack B is 40 cents. Pack A is 37 cents. Pack S is 60 cents. Pack SS is 50 cents. And pack SSS is the worst deal of the lot at 80 cents a pull. Pack SSS, however, does also give you a yin yang bag. So that might work out if you're already gonna be if you know you're gonna spend a lot of money if you're already a whale get that yin yang bag that's probably gonna help you out as well as 125 vouchers so just you make your own call but think carefully right I do believe this shop also resets daily so if I don't um, so you might want to buy the 99 cent pack daily in, and get your five free flips and then at the end do the entire thing um, ultimately it all comes down to what you want and what's going to work out for you. Let's go ahead and do some flips. 
Uh, if I go into Go Purchase, you can see that I can select the pieces that I need. I need three pieces, so it's going to be 2400 gold were I to buy them now with no discount. Let's see what discount I can get if I can get this cheap enough to buy the entire suit. One flip, 10% off. My total becomes 2160. Okay, 15%. My total becomes 2040. 20%. 1920 we're getting closer let's see if i get a bomb or if i get the card okay 25 percent 1800 we are almost there 1680 um i don't know usually once i get to the sixth card i hit a bomb and i don't feel like spending um i don't feel like taking my chances so what I'm gonna do is pause the video for a minute go farm some gold and come back and just purchase the suit all right I have exactly enough gold so let's go ahead and buy that suit there we go I've gained a little bit of power not much but most importantly I have finally finally completed that suit give me that 50 gold um, I am a Every suit that is possible to get for free, I have gotten. Um, and I say free because it's not VIP, right? This suit hasn't dropped yet. I don't know when she's gonna drop. I don't know what she's gonna drop for. She only has five pieces, so that's usually a free suit for trying on only. What does that mean? She has no name, she has no information. But I have every suit in Luxurious that is possible to get. There's a one. There's 104 outfits in here. I have 103 of them. Well, mostly. This week's outfit I don't have, and Golden Feather is a work in progress, actually, because she is the um, fashion contest suit, so that's taking forever. I will have her, though. She's a lifetime suit, so it's going to take a minute. The wig is kind of nice. I at least saved myself a bit of gold on that by getting the cheap, the biggest pieces um, of the suit so that I only had to buy accessories. If you are not um, going to complete the suits and you are going to keep them in good luck haul, make sure to get the biggest pieces that you can to save yourself some gold. So that's how good luck haul works. Let's switch over to my other account so we can talk about what suits are here in good luck haul. Here we are on server 43, where I am also Lady Mina. Um, you can tell I do make a little bit of progress on this account as compared to most of my other uh, alternate accounts. But this one, um, this is the one where my sister lives, so I play pretty, pretty often. At least once a week I log into here. Um, let's go ahead and go into Pet Lover and Good Luck Call. Now, you'll notice there's a very big difference between this one and my other account. You can, If we scroll through here, you can see there's a lot of dots. Hey, if like, we come hey, over to like the outfit tags that? Excel sheet, we can see that there is a grand total of 48 suits available in Good Luck Call. Um, I have posted in the Good Luck Call tab of the outfit tags Excel sheet a cheat sheet of which suits dropped at what point and also whether or not they have a stronger suit to defeat them or if they're still worth buying. The majority of suits are now defeated by VIP suits or pool suits. So you don't so you don't have to um you don't have to buy a lot of suits if you're just going for tags. There's not too many that are still powerful. So you may want to buy suits based on whether or not you think they're pretty. So just to be, just to show you some things, a previously 5,000 gold unique suit comes back for 12,800 gold. If we come in here and we find one of the rares, not that one, not that one, not that one. This one this is a rare suit so if we come in here a rare suit drops for about 
2,500 gold on average, they come back for 5,690, so about 6,000 gold. So there is a great, great markup, but that's exactly what the discount is for. To purchase a discount tab, it is 50, um, it's 50 gold, so we already discussed potentially buying them for VIP currency. If you are not going to buy them for VIP currency, you do have to calculate their cost in when you flip. So um, even if you bring the discount down, you have to add in the extra 50, 100, 250, 50, 100, 150, 200, 250 gold or more into the cost of the suit. Um, Good Luck Haul is an extremely expensive event. Thankfully, it does return every four months, so you can save up your gold in between and you don't have to worry about spending a lot of money to get all of the suits right now. This time they added a grand total of 19 suits, which is more than they have added in any of the previous rounds of Good Luck Call. Um, my guess is that they're trying to catch up so that they can give us the Chinese version of Good Luck Call, which includes makeups and mate suits. The announcement did say we would have that version this time, and it was just a mistake in the announcing, um, which is disappointing. I had hoped that we would get um, mate suits and makeups returning. So save up your money for the next time Good Luck Call comes around. I'm actually going to have to remember to save up for that because I do have many, many, many pieces of makeup that I need to purchase. Every time you finish buying a suit, you have to reflip. So you have to keep that in mind when you are saving up how much gold you're going to need. Let's go ahead and go into change costume and we'll just click through here summer lover is uh summer beach is defeated by kitty lover it's chilly at 10k but it still has some strong pieces if you um if you're on a newer server it might still be worth getting any of the western tag suits can be defeated by the western pool so you don't really need to worry about those that includes things like rose picnic and vampire visit which was the very first halloween suit to ever drop um in the game did love that one um, these suits, uh, Red Winter Suite is still quite powerful, so if we flip over here, this suit is still quite powerful for her tag. Her tag is Hanfu. Um, I have her listed as the strongest Hanfu suit. I think she actually has been defeated since the last time I updated this sheet. Um, Iridescent Stars is defeated. Impressive Song is defeated by the Ming Pool. She's instru instrument. Happy New Year is defeated by the Lotus Scent VIP suit. She's a New Year tag. However, if you don't have that one on your server, you might still get her. Uh, I think we had a New Year suit this year as well, another New Year suit that's quite strong. But if you were, have not been playing since Lunar New Year or even New Year's Day, then you could get that suit. Yellow Asters is Animals. She's actually quite strong. She is defeated by the Kitty Lover VIP suit, and I think by a recent Animals VIP suit, but um, animals is not a very populated tag, so getting any of the animals tag suits would be a good idea. Holy Spirit has the ghost tag at 10k. She is defeated by Garden Fair, the shop suit that you can get. It's not, um, she's not that strong. Ghost tag is populated mostly by VIP suits, which is a struggle. Naughty Panda is another animal suit. Um, I'm just skipping past any of the rare suits. Thin Wings actually is still quite strong in the fairy category. Um, I have quite a lot of other suits and the game still recommends many pieces of Thin Wings for me for a lot of events. That background piece, for example, is still used um, in my costume duo. Uh, so she's quite strong. I would get her. Uh, Luxuriant Woods hey, is like not, cool. Orchid you Fairy you is defeated by the Tang Style Pool, Justice Seeker is just a rare, Glowing Clouds is a rare, Thunder Lover, Thunder Rumble is nature, and actually her wheat is still used in my uh, clothes tab, so even though she is defeated by other nature tag suits, other VIP suits, she's still quite strong, and she can give you an edge in duo show. That's a rare. Fairy, uh... Where the hell is it now? Water Fairy. Water Fairy is Ghost at 10k. She does, um, she is still quite strong. And besides, she's a stunner. That's one of my favorite suits. Even Fall is a rare. Uh, Autumn Charm is a unique. She's online. She's defeated by the Chung Sam Pool though. Or no, she's not. She's nine. She's only 9k. So anybody in any of the other online suits in this event defeat her but she's really pretty anyway mass clouds is only a rare or no she's not 
Mask Clouds is a unique, but she's defeated by the Chunks and Pool. Um, Lilac Glow is a rare, but she's one of the most beautiful suits we've ever had. That umbrella alone, I would buy that umbrella. If you are just collecting individual pieces, that umbrella and that background go with so many purple suits. I don't find myself ever wearing Flower Sacrifice. Occasionally I will wear the um, hairpiece and use that handle, but um, she's not very strong in terms of her tags. Flower Sacrifice, yep, she's defeated by the Ethnic Pool. These two are rares. Bright Moon, however, is just stunning. She's classical at 10k. She's defeated actually by a lot of VIP suits, but my god, if she's not the most beautiful suit. Her ghostly bamboo, her ice bamboo, it just works with so many suits. Those little yellow fairy lights are actually attached to the bamboo piece, not the moon piece. Um, those are two separate pieces, so she's very, very um, usable. Drunk Dream is beautiful. She is ceremony, and actually I do still use quite a few of her pieces as well in a number of duo shows. Spectral Puppet is chivalrous at 11k. She's actually defeated by Crane Painting, the progress suit um, that you just get pieces of as you evolve your uh, servants. Snowbird is a rare, but she's really pretty. Cold Moon is a rare, equally pretty. Ballet Wings, actually those wings, because there's not that many things in the back category and even fewer things in the western tag back category, makes it a very useful piece for duo show. Um, whenever we do a western category duo show um, uh, room, I end up using quite a few pieces of ballet wings. If not just the wings, also the dress is used quite often, so she's quite strong. Um, Painting Smell is a rare, Star Song is a rare, Lingering Camellia is a rare, No Parting uh, is a rare, Snowy Winter is a gorgeous suit. She is warm at 10k and she's defeated by Green Ants, but I don't think there's another event suit that's stronger than her so if you are going for pieces she's a good one that cape is actually i think a separate piece um and we can pull that up to double check later but i do believe the cape is not attached to the dress nope wrong thing come here and then we're gonna pull this up we're just gonna search up snowy winter Okay, right, I have to be in collection to search it. Search. Snowy Winter, and then I want to check her. Oh, go away. And I want to check, yep. So that cape is a separate piece. So if you're collecting pieces, just usable pieces, first of all, her persimmon background, stunning. And the cape being a separate piece just makes her one of the top tier suits that we've had for event suits. Um, pop back into Good Luck Call. Oh God, we're gonna have to scroll so far. Okay, so Snowy Winter and then Baby Leopard was also, that's a rare suit, but her ears are a separate piece. Those little ears that she's wearing, that's separate to her wig. So if you're, again, hunting for hand pieces or like individual pieces, that would be the one. The rest of them are also rares. Four World was a really pretty suit and ripe pairs as well. And that finally is all of all 49 or 48 suits available in good luck call if that was a lot i know it was a lot pull up this vip uh, pull up this uh excel sheet that i have made for you to use it's much much easier to use than listening to that video but i did do a few call outs in there so um hopefully that helps you guys figure out how to play this Remember that you don't have to buy all of these things immediately. You can save up your gold and buy pieces sporadically or get these suits um, individually as time goes on. There's really no rush uh, for the newer servers. Remember, this will come back in about three months. So save up your gold in the meantime and uh, collect what you can in the present. And remember to stay safe, uh, like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you love me. And I will catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.